Hi guys, by now you'll know that um, school's not going to be happening for um, a number of weeks but we still need to do the learning and the first bit of learning that you're going to be doing is how to finish your assessment on your Python code at home. I'll be at school tomorrow um, during our normal period um, which I think is period three just before lunch. Um, if you can come along and I'd like you to upload your Python testing file and your Python program up to OneNote, sorry, up to OneDrive, and then you finish it at home um, before the end of Wednesday. What you will need though, if you're using EasyGUI, is to get EasyGUI into your install in Python. Um, I'm gonna show you now how to do that. Um, first off, downloading EasyGUI is as simple as typing easy GUI download into Google there you go and you can use the sourceforge.net file that's plenty, plenty okay and just check that it's the right one the GUI dialog library for Python good and then let's download that not a huge file I think it's about 1.8 megabytes so not big at all, you can see it's downloaded already. Uh, when we open up that file, the zip file, so it's a zip file, so it'll open up in some sort of extraction software that you have, a, have on your PC. Um, you'll see that it's actually called something different from EasyGUI. Uh, when you extract the files, extract my downloads for the fourth time, um, You'll see that the file is called 2016 first updates and then inside that there's Robert Lug, Easy GUI, etc. But the actual folder that we need, Easy GUI, is actually inside there. Um, all this other stuff we just don't need, so it's just the Easy GUI folder. It's the one that's got all the boxes in. So as long as you've extracted that that extracted that folder from the zip file, then you're fine. What we'll do is we'll just get rid of that because you don't need that now. And don't need that. I don't need that one. There we go. So what we're going to do is going to oh, can I just bring OBS back up? Just going to pop that. Just going to pop that over there for the time being, and bring up. Swap those over. And bring up this PC. Um. Strangely enough. Python just doesn't install into program fol um, files unless you force it to. Um, if you just let the install run, it'll automatically install somewhere else, which is in your uh, user profile. So if you go to uh, local disk C and um, you'll find the users folder, usually just above Windows, and then when you click on that, you'll see your profile folder. Mine's called Mr. This is where you might get stuck because unless you've been to view, which is up here at the top tab, and clicked on the hidden files box, you won't actually see the folder that we need. And the folder we need that you'll see appear is called app data. So inside app data and inside the local folder, and then scroll down through all my programs, we'll see a folder called programs. And strangely enough, this is where Python um, installs. So there's the Python folder, then the Python, Python version folder, and then eventually we've got the Python executable files, python.exe. We've also got a folder called lib, and that's where EasyGUI needs to go. So if we double click on lib, you'll see that I've already got EasyGUI here. Um, a new install of Python from you or, or done by you just won't have it there. It's not one of those um, libraries that comes with Python. But if you've got your downloads folder open on your easy GUI folder, you can just click and drag it in. Don't drag it on top of a folder because you'll put it inside another one and it won't work. But just drop it over to the right hand side of the folders. As you can see, I've already got it, so it wants to replace. And there we go. So I've just replaced my EasyGUI folder with the one that I've just downloaded. 
Once that's done, what we need to do is run a test. So I've got a piece of code here that I wrote. Um, this is actually the answer to your number game that you did. So edit in our idle. And you'll see that the Python game is using enter box and integer box and choice box and so on. So it's definitely using easy GUI and it's importing from easy GUI import star there. So when we run this bit of code, we should see, there we go, easy GUI dialog boxes there. And yep, yeah, it runs fine. What I'll do is I'll show you, I'll get rid of that, close that. And I will change the name of easy GUI and then run this again. It was idle. Run. And as you can see, because I've just changed the name of Easy GUI, it's not actually running the module. Can't find anyone. The only way to change that is to actually, rather than import Easy GUI, import that name there. But it's so much easier just to import it as Easy GUI. So get rid of all of those other files that you're downloading. Um, and you're just left with the easy GUI folder and that's all you need. That's the bit that's got all of the boxes in. So hopefully that's simple enough for you. Um, as I said earlier, I'll be at school period three tomorrow, which is Tuesday, and then we'll be back to normal wins, uh, normal lessons, so period three. So it's period four tomorrow, period three on Wednesday. I'll be available online in Teams. I'll have some work for you to do and then we'll just get on with it until we can get back to school. So stay safe guys and I'll speak to you all very soon.